This is a Kurosawa conversation. This is Anna Katrina. I was born in Kotim and raised in Kerala. I've gone through a series of naming myself. I have different monikers for each phase of my life. But this is something that Tribe Mama Merikali, I think she's here to stay for a long time. Because she embraced every other phase of my life, every other moniker. My formative days were in Nigeria. So I'm a bit of a third culture kid. When I look back, I was more of a songwriter than more of a like intricate chord playing musician. My voice is my instrument and guitar is something that I use to back up my vocal skills. About my childhood, I connected with everyone and that made me a bit of a misfit. I always stuck to music and I hung out with people with whom I could relate with their playlists. Most of my songs are very autobiographical. If I don't feel it, if I've never experienced it, then I'm not writing about it. Music to me is a mood thing. I go back to a lot of retro stuff, a lot of retro disco, a lot of old school R&B. Sometimes I do a little bit of funny slow rap and all. I like lyrics. It's not really a genre thing. Everything is mood. When that happens, it's no longer a genre. It's just genre blending or bending. Yeah, this should work. This should work. It should do. This should do. We've always tried to dress in such a way that we consciously represent all kinds of body sizes because we don't want anybody feeling left out. We want all kinds of women, different shapes, sizes, color, to mm -hmm. operate from a space of high self-esteem yeah. where they can embrace their body. To me, my mom is a fashion icon because she did everything with herself. I think all of this comes from her. I could be sitting here very silent and you'll be thinking that I'm so peaceful and calm but this like there's a cosmic blast, so much chaos, so many voices. To harmonize them and bring them together, yeah that's what Bless Your Heels did. My bad boys were handpicked. Srikant Basi, he is the bassist and then R.E.T. I don't know, he's really a prodigy, the kind of jazz chords he plays. And then there was Tao. Drumming was very important to me. And this guy comes in and we come up with this amazing vibe where we're celebrating body, spirit, mind, diversity. We've been making some pretty cool stuff because we are celebrating our existence. We are celebrating everybody around us. It's more or less like we don't play for you guys, we play for ourselves. The universe is always conspiring for you. Keep yourself in a good mood. You make new happen all the time. Cheers.